Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a short vlog update about what I've been up to in the last couple of weeks. So last weekend I spent three days exhibiting with my local makerspace, so make it, in Southampton in the UK, at Winchester Science Festival. We took a couple of 3D printers along, so we were pretty busy all three days, pretty much overrun with kids and families. There's my Taz printing a piece of my boat project that I'll be getting out later on this summer. It's actually in a library. Um, and we took the So Make It Dalek along to attempt to terrorise some children, although um, we've only just got the grey primer on it. So um, the, the Dalek was built as a group project down at So Make It. You can have a look at some more videos on that in the So Make It YouTube channel. It was built uh, out of primarily MDF and chipboard. There's a few 3D printed parts on there. And we've also got some sound effects. Um, we forgot the radio mic, unfortunately, to take to this event, so um, a couple of the guys quickly hacked on some sounds that play on the Raspberry Pi that's inside it. There's also an Arduino driving the wheelchair controller. There's an, actually an electric wheelchair, or at least a scrap one inside, which we hacked into, and it's driven with an Arduino, which is taking commands from a Python script on a Raspberry Pi. So have a look at the So Make It YouTube channel to see some more details on the build on that. A week before that, in fact it was two weeks before, we went um, through a carnival in Southampton, Totten Carnival, which has been running a hundred years. It's a pretty traditional carnival with floats and we tagged along with the SO16 troopers, raising money for Click Sergeant, which is a children's cancer charity. So uh, there's our Dalek pre-primer. Some of the hemispheres on there are pink because they've come out of a vending machine and the things that toys come in and they split in two and the uh, rings they're mounted on are hemispheres are uh, rings that are 3D printed to hold the hemispheres. So uh, we got left behind at the carnival mainly because children kept stepping in front of the Dalek and um, we were kept, kept being told to close the gap but it was practically impossible without running people over so there's poor Benji who's one of the other members that so make it. Uh, trying to herd children out of the way but um, obviously it's quite good to be popular we raise quite a lot of money for charity so there's the uh, big bucket of cash so there's a link in the description to the so make it youtube channel have a look for more details there the other thing i've been considering recently is my mr fusion replica which i made some time ago this is of course from the back of a delorean or from back to the future 2 here's the toy delorean that's mr fusion and that's the part of the film where Doc Brown comes back and uh, puts banana skins and beer cans into the car to make 1.1 gigawatts to go back to the future. Um, so this is made originally out of a coffee grinder. This is the same model that was used in the movie. Beans go in the top and ground coffee comes out. This is actually a functional Krups 223A coffee grinder. Um, you set the timer there, grain size there. I've cut the mains cable off because this is a US one uh, which runs on 110 volts with 230 in Europe, so we must never plug it in. Um, the rest of it was 3D printed though, so the base was originally a Singer Libroscope, which is a piece of 60s computer equipment that you can't obviously find anymore. Um, so that was custom made. I designed that in Autodesk 123D, printed it in lots of sections and stuck it together. So it was 16 two hour prints. Uh, the lid was also made in the same way and it was acetone smoothed, um, as was the catch. So, uh, one thing I've been thinking about is, um, in fact, building a replica of an entire DeLorean. So, I'm a member of the UK DeLorean Owners Club, although I don't actually own a DeLorean. Um, you can join at deloreans.co.uk and you'll receive a quarterly colour magazine and various other things, including a bumper sticker and a tax disc holder. Um, so, there are various DeLoreans that come up for sale occasionally. Um, they tend to be about £20,000 or more than that. So I thought it'd be rather fun to make a replica, rather than it being a real car, just a static prop. Um, perhaps with a wooden frame and so on. Um, and then I found a 3D model, so this is Turbo Squid, there's also one on Thingiverse, um, of an actual DeLorean. It's a pretty good model, in fact there's several, this one happens to be free. Um, it's got all the internals and all of the Back to the Future stuff on it. And the inside of the model has all of the um, internal stuff of the cab and so on. Uh, there's three formats you can download here on the right hand side uh, 3D Studio Max, an Autodesk FBX um, and an OBJ 
Um, the OBJ is one mesh which has got all of the parts in, um, and I don't have anything to read an FBX file. However, a friend of mine, Dave over at the YouTube channel Toy Poloi, you can find the link to his channel in the description also. He does vintage toy reviews, and he's a professional 3D modeler. So um, I sent Dave the FBX, which is um, some sort of Autodesk exchange file, and it appears that there's various um, assemblies, or at least it's an assembly that you can take pieces off. Um, which makes it means we can simplify the model. So um, Dave kindly stripped away all of the internals and all of the Back to the Future stuff, which I'd imagine is, or possibly was as easy as unchecking a part in an assembly. So now we've got the basic car shape. Um, the wheels have been taken off, which are quite complicated pieces because they had the tread modelled in, and the doors have been taken off, which I have as a separate file. So I've now got an STL file, which I've put into Autodesk 123D. There aren't too many mesh um, editing ob uh, tools in 123D. It's mostly for solid object modeling. Um, so the plan is to cut this up potentially into small parts and attempt to 3D print them. So the TAS will just print under just a cubic foot. Um, so we should be able to print some fairly sizable objects and stick them together like um, basically a construction kit or some building blocks. Okay, so maybe we'll just do the back of the DeLorean to start with. DeLoreans are only four and a half metres long, so we're probably talking about in excess of a year's worth of printing to do the whole car. Also, some of it's just big flat sheets like the bonnet, so it probably makes sense to 3D print a frame and use some of the things like sheet material to uh, make some of those big flat contours. So that's all I've got to talk about this time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my social media pages. Also, don't forget my Patreon crowdfunding campaign at patreon.com slash xrobots. One of the rewards you can get for a very small amount of money is access to a live broadcast with me. And the next one is coming up this Sunday, all being well. Again, you can find the link in the description to this video.